What's up guys? It's your girl M and I'm back with another cooking video for you today. And today on Taste the States, I am doing a Connecticut spaghetti with clams. I know it's been a minute, but I will be filming another video tonight, tomorrow, kind of just chatting with you guys. We're gonna vlog a little bit. We're gonna have some conversations. Wanted to get this Connecticut video. I kind of stalled on my Taste the States videos because we had so much going on with the holidays. So here we are, we're back with Connecticut. I have everything ready to go up to, I think, Illinois. So I have so many cooking videos coming for you guys for Taste the States. Don't you worry, they're coming. Let me go ahead and show you my ingredients for this spaghetti and clams. Now you could do linguine, I'm using spaghetti. This is just a very, very, very simple spaghetti and clams recipe. Let me show you the ingredients. Two tablespoons of butter. I've got some lemon. I have a can of minced clams. I have some garlic minced up, about two cloves. Thin spaghetti, Parmesan cheese, and then I have some fresh parsley. I'm also gonna be using salt and pepper and olive oil. I have my water boiling, and I'm gonna get ready to put that spaghetti in there. A lot of the recipes for coastal states are seafood centered, and Connecticut is no different. There were a lot of different things for Connecticut. There was, a, there's this clam pizza pie, Frank Pepe's clam pizza pie, and that's very, very popular. It was on every single list. And I didn't wanna mess up making a clam pizza pie, so I decided to take the clam aspect and just do a spaghetti with clams. This is super simple. I will put in the description down below some different uh, Connecticut clam recipes that you guys can try for yourselves. But I'm just gonna keep it simple and do this little clam spaghetti. Now I'm not making a lot, I'm making a serving for like about one to two people because I know Vaughn is not going to eat this so I'm not making a big huge helping. So I'm just using about this much of my spaghetti. I'm gonna add that to my boiling water. And then we're gonna salt this water. We want it to be salty like the sea. If you prefer fresh clams, you could absolutely find a different recipe that uses fresh clams. But I live in Houston and you can't really get good clams down here, so I'm using canned clams. There are tons of recipes out there using fresh clams, and if you can find good fresh clams or you live on the coast, if you live up in New England, go get, go get you some fresh clams. While my pasta is cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and add some olive oil to my pan. and my two tablespoons of butter. And we're just gonna let that melt. We're gonna put it on medium high heat. My butter is pretty well melted. I'm gonna go ahead and add my minced garlic. And we're just gonna let that cook until it becomes fragrant. And we don't want it to burn or brown too much, but we want to get that nice garlic infused butter situation going on. Look at that guys. So my clams are already minced and I emptied out most of the juice but I'm going to keep some of that juice in there because that's going to give us some more flavor. And I'm just going to add my clams. Now if you had whole clams I would suggest you uh, uh, mince them up but mine are already minced. So we're going to go ahead and just cook, let these cook. I go ahead and add my pepper and my salt. We're just gonna let that cook. I know it looks a little crazy, just trust the process. Okay, now this has been cooking for about a minute or two, and now that my pasta is finished, I am going to take some of my spaghetti and we're just gonna transfer it in with the clams. You wanna do it a little more graceful than I did, but 
<laughs> I'm just gonna mix that. Look. See, this is so simple. This is like literally the most simple recipe ever. All right guys, so here's my pasta. Next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take half a lemon. I'm gonna do a nice squeeze. Lemon and seafood just go perfectly together. We're gonna add some Parmesan cheese. Parsley, fresh parsley. Just di mince it up. Doesn't have to chop it up. I mean, it doesn't have to be super professional looking. Top it off with a little more pepper. And there we have it. The most simple spaghetti and clams recipe you could ever make in your life. No matter if the recipe is easy or hard, my kitchen always ends up looking like this after a cooking video. No matter what. <laughs> but here it is. Here is the spaghetti with clams. We're gonna go ahead and give it a try. Let's try it out. Mmm. This is fire. I was a little nervous because I'm not a big clam person. Mmm. Oh, that lemon just tops it off so perfectly. This is so good. And I know I'm biased, but I mean, this is bomb. I'm not a clam person. I much I prefer oysters on the half shell to clams. But this is darn good. Delicious. Actually, I feel like mom might actually like this. I'm gonna make some try it. It's actually really good. And it's not too clammy. Like there's little chunks of clam. You can see. There's a little chunk of clam in there. is still up it's still up everything else is down the Christmas tree is still up I have to get Vaughn to take it down anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you enjoyed another taste of states video I've been slacking on my taste of states videos this is Connecticut up next I have Delaware and then Florida Florida's art that Florida's been done Florida's been edited and uploaded Florida's ready to go. Got a thumbnail on it and everything. So Florida's ready. So you just gotta do Delaware. Florida's done. Then I've got Georgia, Hawaii, Idaho, Illinois, Indiana. You ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Um, but yeah, so be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed spaghetti and clams. It's a little bit different. Kind of step outside of your comfort zone. If you can get fresh clams, use fresh clams. But I live in Texas. And I don't think there's really clams here. Maybe there are. But I don't think they're as good as the ones up in New England. So, whatever. Anyways, <laughs> be sure to follow my Twitter at Man and my Instagram at Midwest Mansfield. I'm looking a little rough today. I'm gonna do a vlog, catch you guys up on everything, and I will see, I'm about to see, I'm about to see, okay, no I'm not. All right, I'm about to do a vlog and catch you up on what's going on, and yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this Connecticut Taste of States. Love you, Mwah. see you in the next video, hey.